Okay, so now we want to prove that um, when you pick a vertex u as the vertex that has the shortest uh, path weight in the beginning of an iteration, we have optimized uh, the vertex, which means you have found the shortest path from the source to that vertex. Okay, so how do we prove this? So let p be the path from that we have found so far from the source s to the vertex u that you pick up to be the one of the minimum estimate of the shortest path weight. So um, we want to prove that p is indeed the shortest path. So we'll prove that using contradiction, let there exist an alternate path p prime, a hypothetical path, such that the weight of p prime is less than the weight of p. Right, so uh, there are two scenarios that we need to consider which means if all the vertices in the hypothetical path p prime are already optimized right since the weight of p prime is less than the weight of p and if all the intermediate vertices in the path p prime are already optimized right so if p prime is something like for example <coughs> from s to u you have some uh, a b c and so on you have u right on this path p prime so the weight of the path uh, from s to any of this intermediate vertices has to be the less than the weight of the path from s to u right which is the weight of p prime the path p prime is under and we have that the weight of path p prime is less than the weight of p our path so which means uh, when we were kind of optimizing the vertices we would have also optimized every intermediate vertex on this path right and uh, which means Dax's algorithm would have also optimized uh, all these vertices right all of these vertices that were on the uh, that were the intermediate vertices on this path right from let's say this is the path from s to u uh, uh, the hypothetical path p prime then let's say this is the intermediate vertex b then the weight of the path from s to b is less than the weight of the path p prime of course right and weight of p prime is less than the weight of p so when Dijkstra's algorithm picked p as a path uh, with the smallest estimate weight which means it would have already picked up the all the other vertices right because the access algorithm always picks vertices in increasing order of the estimate weight so even in the example that you had here in the exam so you see here you pick uh, three first uh, so zero first to start with and then three and then four and then five and then seven and also the seven so the weight of the smallest path uh, shortest path estimate that you pick is always in increasing order so which means if you have picked up uh, p now of certain estimate then it would have already picked up all the other intermediate vertices which are also on this path p prime so which means you would have optimized the weight of the path to u because that's how you got to p prime right so which means P should have been equal to P prime because if you can optimize all of this and get to P prime you could have optimized all of this and that's what P is also right so P prime should have been equal to P so the fact that P and P prime are different means there should be what at least one intermediate vertex on this path P prime that is not yet optimized because if all these intermediate vertices are optimized then P would have been equal to P prime right so there should be at least one intermediate vertex on this path p prime that should not have been optimized right so if that is the case if let's say there is an intermediate vertex again something like our uh, uh, what is that I pick y okay which is not yet optimized <coughs> Okay, so let me write that y, uh, so the path is some um, s to y and y to u. So this is our path p prime again. So 
y has not been yet optimized right so it means what <clears throat> the weight of the path from s to y is greater than or equal to the weight of path p because our directions algorithm has not yet picked y for optimization okay so which means the weight of the path from s to y is greater than or equal to the weight of the path p otherwise our directions algorithm would have picked y for optimization if that is the case if that is the case then the weight of the path from s to y to u so this is i'm looking at p prime now p prime should be greater than the weight of the path s to y because it includes also the sub path from y to u right so it should be equal greater than the weight of the path s to y which we know is greater than or equal to the weight of path p so from this what we can say the weight of path p prime should be greater than the weight of path p which is a contradiction to our assumption right so if there is at least one intermediate vertex on the path that is on the path p prime that is not yet optimized then weight of the path p prime should be greater than the weight of path p if every intermediate vertex on this path p prime is optimized then p should be equal to p prime okay so either way you can say that uh, the path found by the access algorithm is optimum because every time you pick a vertex of the smallest estimate of the shortest path weight you optimize that vertex which means you have found the shortest path to that vertex from the source right <clears throat>